Okay, so we're looking at Sarah's work and we're determining, uh, based on this graph, what would she make for 18 hours? Okay, so uh, again, a couple ways of doing this, but let's jump ahead here. Um, first of all, uh, we would recognize that the slope will give us her rate. And so we can pick out a couple good points. That one looks good. And maybe that one up there looks good. And so what we can do is we can say here is our rise. And our rise is, it goes up to 45. So 45 and we'll say dollars. Okay. And so some people would put the dollars in front. That's perfectly good as well. And on the run part here, we have run is equal to, and she looks like she worked two hours in this case. So rise over run, and we would have $45 over two hours. And so we can calculate that out at this point and say she was making $22.50 dollars per hour and of course again some people would put the dollar sign out front and that's perfectly good uh, having the dollar sign at the end like that sometimes helps make sense of the cancellations and so on but either way is fine and so at this point we know what her wages uh, would come out to be and so it's a matter of converting that uh, into what she would make for 18 hours so we could go ahead and say $22.50 per hour and multiply by uh, 18 hours. And it's a good time to double check that we did that right, that we should, uh, that we, it wasn't a case where we should have divided or something. And we look at it in hours on the bottom, hours on the top, so, and we end up with dollars. And it's how much would she earn? So yeah, everything looks great. And so we multiply that out and 405.50. All right. Um, now, some people may have said, well, first of all, they do that first same step and they'd end up with $45 over two hours. And they would say, well, let's just go to an equivalent rate. And so they'd say, 18 hours and so maybe question mark there and okay so in order to get from 2 to 18 we'd have to multiply by 9 so if we multiply this by 9 we'd end up with a question mark equals again 405.50 so either one of these methods works perfectly good um, Again, I find most people uh, benefit the most from using that method just because uh, conceptually it makes a lot of sense to figure out her hourly wage and then go from there. Uh, given that, if you're comfortable with doing it this way and thinking it through, then that's perfectly good too.